Well, more local news now. The high school student who was stabbed inside Kenosha Bradford High School this week died today. The classmate accused of the stabbing was charged today with second degree homicide. Sean Gallagher has the story and he joins us live in Kenosha. Sean. George and Carol, this is a sad and devastating tale. Two former friends fighting over a girl. Well, now one is dead and the other faces a murder charge. Eight state of Wisconsin versus Timothy Carson. 15 year old Tim Carson entered the court as a boy, but will be charged as a man after he allegedly stabbed his former friend in the chest with the boy dying Friday morning. Um, this is witnessed by a number of witnesses and those witnesses indicate that only one person uh, reached Mr. Carson. That person was engaged in a fist fight and Mr. Carson, the defendant, was instead involved in a knife uh, wielding deadly incident. In the criminal complaint, Carson says they started fighting over his girlfriend. Carson says they broke up before spring break, but had gotten back together again. In the meantime, the victim had talked to the girl, talking of potential infidelities by Carson, leading to a confrontation last week where Carson pointed a gun at the victim. But the defense claims there were issues between the two boys, and Carson was defending himself on Tuesday. Um, the state's position is that it was imperfect self-defense, um, but again, I would just note that in the complaint, there's only one single stab wound, which is mentioned here, and I think the charge here does reflect um, a strong self-defense claim. Carson's mother, clearly emotional after court, declined an interview, but his aunt says the school should be partly to blame. Where were they? Why was nobody helping my nephew? Why was nobody there? He protected himself in a scared manner, as anybody would. <coughs> And I attempted to reach out to Kenosha Unified Schools after court today, but it was too late for them to have a response. Now, Carson will be back in court on May 12th for a preliminary hearing. He is on a $250,000 bond. Live in Kenosha, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. Terribly grim. Thank you, Sean.